Hey, you Don here. Okay, we're going to go back to work on the settings on uh, look, uh, OBS, Lucky Backup OBS Studio. And I'm using Simple Stream Recorder to do the recording. I've realized, so you can hit Control R to uh, <clears throat> start and stop the recording. I'm still not sure if it works for stopping properly. So I've been just clicking to save recording, but I think it might work for stopping it as well. But that little um, icon up there, it turn, it's like blue-green or something when it's not recording, and it's red when it's recording. So I'm pretty sure, for, fairly certain it was working. Yeah, see, there's a video I'm making. Okay, so it worked just fine. So you can be in any desktop. That's what I did as I got over here on this one. So it's still working. It's a little behind again. That's all right. It's not good. Anyway, um, I'm not recording with OBS yet. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I don't want to yet. I want to change some settings. So right now, um, see, I re redid my naming on. Uh, SS it's called they call it SSR. That's their initials they put on there, like welcome screen to the app. Anyway, simple uh, screen recorder is what it is, and it already had the the year and the date, time year, the year, the date, the time. Well, I don't like the year, you know, I don't, that's backwards to me. I do month, day, year. That's the way we were raised here in Texas. I don't know how they do it. I think that's how pretty much everybody in America does it. But uh, the only way it's backwards to me and it throws me off. And the other thing is, of course, I should have done it a long time ago, but or this is a new app. Of course, I just got it a couple week or two ago. But I'm on OBS. I've been using it since 2016, and it's been like that, just the numbers. And I think at one time I tried, I don't know, um, I think maybe at one time I did try changing it up and then, I don't know, maybe I didn't notice how you can do it, but I see how you can do it today and um, the format you need to stick with. This one, all I did was just add my name and all that in front of it and left that the same, but I'd really like to say month, day, year, and then uh, the time. I don't really like the dots in there, though. I'll probably try and change that. We'll see. Um, because it fouls up some programs. Uh, they don't. They, they think that the first dot is the uh, file extension, or sometimes the second one or something. It's really funky how some programs work. So I like to only have one dot in a file name. This one has um, the year, the, um, let's see, month, day. So that throws me, see, that's what really throws me off. If it was year, month, day, Wait, that is right. It just throws me off. If you don't do month of the year, it throws me off. Plus, I don't want the 2019. I just want 19. It is more, well, as time goes by, that works better. But, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that, that'd be a long time. So, anyway, um, um, <clears throat> I want to. I want to try. I want to go ahead and try to change this up. I'm not recording on OBS. I'm just recording on uh, Simple Firm Recorder so that I can do that. And uh, so I'm going to go back into settings here. And well, I had a problem. I changed it all up the way I wanted it, and it couldn't record. And I thought that was why. And then I realized it was actually the uh, encoder I was using to, for the recording wasn't working. I was using FFmpeg. So the default, whatever that is, let's see, where is that recording? Yeah, I, I this, they call it standard. They don't tell you what it is. I was using SFmpeg and FLV, and that actually works in the newer version because I was doing it. But it doesn't work in uh, the old. I have reverted back to 21.1.1 because it would crash every started crashing every time you uh, hit start stream, and it evidently started the instant they updated it automatically. I have Fedora set up to Fedora 28 to set up to automatic, or I did have it set up to automatic updates. Turn it off so that it won't break it again. And then I think I have this frozen. I found a plugin for DNF that should have uh, OBS frozen. I did that in my previous yesterday, day before videos. Hang on, I gotta have a drink. I had a cough drop and finally finished it up. So. It I didn't want to be chomping on that. Okay, so uh, uh, <clears throat> that'll be my next thing. But right now I want to get the date. I've been wanting that changed for a very long time. 
So if you hover, if you just leave the mouse there, it tells you, you know, all the different things you can do. And so what I want, and I was going to put my name in the front and all that, but I, here, what I was fixing to say a minute ago and I got sidetracked, well, having 2019 in the front, that, that does, you know, like in my, well, let's go in my backups instead of mumbling around about it. Because I think I have some older videos in there. Let's see, OBS. This is on my backup drive. I keep thinking, oh, where am I showing the desktop? But actually, that's the only thing that Simple Screen Recorder will do. For some reason, the backup drive always opens up slow. <clears throat> it's because there's so much data on it. See, 2019, now I have it organized by the newest on top. And I'm going to end up with duplicates because I've been renaming them after they've already been backed up. I'm going to have to end up cleaning all that up. But first, before I try, I don't want, this is my only copy of these, and I don't want to lose them, so except for the ones that are uploaded to YouTube. Some of them I don't upload if they're just short check, you know, screen screen test, audio, video test, and stuff. But um, I've got a, a, four, a five, this is a five terabyte USB, Seagate USB backup drive, and I bought a, uh, for Christmas I got myself an eight terabyte. And I got it formatted EXT4 because I've had problems with the NTFS uh, breaking and me having to fix it. And so <clears throat> there's no reason why I bought another drive. But uh, I haven't got it uh, set up to – well, I set it up to run in Lucky Backup, but it was – oh, it was the file permissions were getting funky. So I, I, I need to work some more on that. Plus it takes forever, you know. I have it set up to start backing up about 10 minutes after it boots right now, and that takes 10 to 20 minutes. And you can't do much else while this is backing up. But anyway, some of them say I have renamed. I've named them like all different things. The name of what's going on. Sometimes I put my name at the front. Um, so they're not all in a single format anymore. Yeah, see now 2018, but when they were just named by the year and so on. That, but that doesn't organize them well. If it was month, day, year, that would uh, organize them. Like if you were going to go alphabetical order, like I'll do that. And see, that throws everything off now. Cause I see, some of them I recently started putting numbers in front of them, but uh, I did them in little groups, you know, like to tie them together because I was having to manually upload them to YouTube because the stream wasn't working. But that throws off your organization by alphabetical order. The alphabetical order really doesn't work. There's two ways you can do it. That's either the newest on top or the oldest on top. That's the oldest on top, 2015. I know that's the oldest one I've got in there. That's kind of cool when you when you think of it in yearly terms. And actually, ah, oh, I see. If it was in monthly terms, it would really throw it off again, wouldn't it? But, I mean, it, uh, it's going by the modified date. It's not going by creation date. This program doesn't even show creation date, which I wish it would. <clears throat> but in, uh, but I do love it for every other way, you know, the program. But uh, see, like that one just says Dawn, but it is in the right order. And the reason that's important is because when you get ready to use this renamer right here, multi-rename, if whatever order you have them in, that's the order it will put them in in there. And so then that's how your one, two, threes can work to your advantage. So, that, so like, see, if I put the newest ones on top, then, well, that doesn't work well for going one, two, three. That gets them in backwards order. But if you put the oldest ones on top, and I don't do that in my backup. I do that in my creation folder, you know, and then that does work. But anyway, um, get back to where I was. I leave these open so I can watch the files because I want to make sure my video hasn't quit. <coughs> um, but I want... Okay, I had all decided I wanted Don Bishop. I was going to say like Don Bishop OBS Studio on these or the OBS folder here. Uh, um, and then month, day, year, which I still want them to change them to month, day, year because I just, that, putting the year in the front just throws me off completely. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go back to, keep on depending on the organization and the way my multi renamer works in Crusader. Um but what I was wondering, okay, the thing is, is when you upload them to YouTube, it's it's really tricky to, I don't know how many, I'm not going to sit there and count characters every time I name something. So what I do is put the important stuff at the front, and if it gets too long, then YouTube will just cut it off. Uh, so, but 
the date is important uh, and the time. If I want to try to organize them on YouTube, like just not having to like open this, uh, like the other day I was having to open this up and look at it and then look at YouTube and go back and forth, back and forth. I'd like, you know, if I do have to upload them, I'd like to be able to tell what order they go in. Well, what I've been doing is renaming them. See, like, uh, let's see. Yeah, so if they're organized with uh, oldest on top, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That just reminds me I need to actually, well, I won't do it now. I meant to get rid of all those videos. They've already been uploaded and everything. But uh, <clears throat> see, if I were wanted to rename these, uh, then they would be in the right order. You can tell by, you can double check by seeing 420, 544, 610. You know, you, you can see that. So, um, yeah, I want those on top right now. But while I'm working, before I'm getting ready to upload, uh, but I don't like them just being numbers. I want them to at least say my name on there. And then if I decide to rename them, like you saw in the uh, backup folder, I haven't been renaming them because it was just too much work. I used to always rename all my videos to this, uh, what's going on in them. But I fell off of that the last several, since about 2016, I guess, when I started streaming because I was making so many more videos <clears throat> and I just didn't have time to do it. Uh, I would do it on YouTube only, but that don't help unless you want to go download all your videos. Actually, you can. Uh, I'm actually going to download my, that reminds me, I'm, I haven't even looked, but they're supposed to email me, you know, I set it up to down, not my videos, but, but my, um, Google plus stuff and every other thing that I thought I wanted right now, go ahead and download it. I'm not going to download. I got like 1200 videos on YouTube. I don't want to download them because I already have them anyway. I haven't, I've always backed everything up, so I haven't lost anything, but, um, anyway, but the names, the names uh, are only on YouTube that I've given them, uh, you know, on, on these ones that are numbered. So anyway, um, in here, I want, uh, I just want month, day, year, but I don't want, I'm still keeping going back and forth. Do I want 2019 or do I want, uh, um, Let's see, let's look at that again. So what, the way you do it, okay, you can put a dash in between them, and uh, that you need something to separate them. So let's cut that. Now month, day, year. I need a dash after DD for day, month, day, year. Now what I was thinking I wanted was just 19 and take out those two C's, but now I'm kind of changing my mind. And I think I will do an underscore there. I think that'll be easier for me to read now. Hours and minutes and seconds. Now, while I'm going to keep going back and forth, what I'm thinking is I could do this. And then if I add like a real descriptive name at the beginning, uh, that other stuff wouldn't matter if it falls off. And when I upload it, that's what I'm thinking. But as far as just, well, now the one good thing is that would help them organize by ABCs, but it still wouldn't be, it could be good and it might just be confusing because next year, you know, it'll be, then the months will all merge together. So that's not really going to help in the organizing. So I think I'm going to do this to, I, I did, I'm using my keyboard shortcuts there to do what I want. Don Bishop, OBS Studio, and then month, day, year, then hours, minutes, and seconds, and then, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Hit apply. Now, what was the other thing I was thinking I wanted to, there is something else I was thinking, oh, well, there's a lot of things I need to do. Oh, okay, there's two things I'm wanting to do. Well, I need to, I want to add my, audio from cam one settings I need I got started on that before it started crashing and then I thought that was what was crashing it and I quit trying to fix just trying to fix the application <clears throat> and actually I kept using it because it was still recording and just recording for about two weeks too so um, but I also want to turn on my uh, auto updates again and I think I have it frozen so that this one won't get updated but first I want to make sure everything works perfectly the way I want it. 
Okay. <clears throat> now, um, I'm ready to start a stream. I got my laptop up. So, um, I'm recording. I'm also recording this, so I'll have a, you know, a record of what I'm doing right now. I'm waiting for that to grow in size. It is simple. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to start this stream. Okay, down here. Um, okay, so I've got my uh, OBS Studio work, still working on setting it up, and I got my month, day, year all set up the way I want it. Let's go to the desktop, my stream. Let's check my audio on my stream over there. Oh, I don't have it. I uh, forgot to unmute the preview. Okay, it's yellow and it keeps doing that. Oh, that's the other thing I was thinking about changing. Yeah, I was going to go ahead. I've got the bits per second set on um, 4,000. I want to set it down some. I think that might stop that problem there. We'll see. But, yeah, and this, so now my file name is Don Bishop Obia Studio. 0204-2019. Oh, I forgot to take off the other. <laughs> uh, I was keep debating about, you know, I want... The longer it is, the more it gets cut off when I upload it to YouTube. And I actually would like to have the time on there to help me organize them. Uh, but if I name them, you know, as to what's going on, like I have with these others, then uh, like that one there, I'm sure I don't remember what got cut off. I think pretty much it, part of the, I think it got cut off. Whoops, that went away. But anyway. The numbers is where it got cut off somewhere in there. But yeah, I like that a lot better. And see my uh, simple stream recorder, I did it pretty much the same, except for I forgot to change those dots to something else. You could you could actually put the colons to let you really know that that's time, but then some programs don't work well with that. Some programs don't work well with dots in the file name either. So I was saying that a while ago. But anyway, now I'm happy with that. Part, but what I forgot to do was, uh, and I can't do it while I'm recording or streaming. I'm trying to remember this stuff, and not, I wasn't going to start a stream until I was actually ready. Uh, is my uh, my output? See, the bit rate is of uh, four thousand uh, kilobits per second, and uh, actually, you could have. Oh no, they have. Well, you can say uh, encoder, use stream encoder. The, I, I'm going to leave that the same. It's just way too complicated. To, it's not going to be of any real benefit. And it, I can't do more than really what I'm doing. I can't do MP4, which is a little bit better quality, not a lot different, but little. sometimes you can see a difference. Uh, but anyway, I think I need to change the bit rate. I think maybe it would. My stream's green now. It's okay, but it used to always start out green and stay green and very seldom go yellow or, or you know, go bad and go red or something. But... Uh, been always starting out yellow for a long time now, a month or two. Oh, I did change the keyframe to four instead of leaving it on auto uh, because that's what I thought I needed. Now, that's the other thing that could affect that. I thought I put it on four because that's what I had to do a long time ago to get to work right to get rid of that problem. You would think that auto would be good enough, but it wasn't. Back on the old, uh, old previous versions of OBS, I actually force force the max you can do. Uh, when you do it on an auto, you don't know what it doesn't show you. You don't know what you're getting. But uh, yeah, those are the two things: is the keyframe interval in seconds and the bit rate. But YouTube says now that it takes three thousand to six thousand. And it used to be less than that, but, you know, they're up to 4K video now, so. Uh, or they're shooting for it or getting ready for it or whatever. It's in there. Uh, it shows that it can take it. <clears throat> I see people always commenting that it doesn't work when they, people that shoot in 4K, but uh, say so you're not really getting 4K. But um, anyway, uh, but I am, uh, oh, and my output, see, I, I, it says rescale output. The, the wizard, when you set it up OBS, it, it set mine to 2,500 on the bitrate and uh, 1280 by 720 something like that bit 
a bit less. Well, let's see. No, you can't look at that while it's recording. But um, anyway, I'm going to hit cancel so I don't mess anything up there. So anyway, I'm still working on making sure, trying to get everything tweaked out with that. But it is re streaming, and uh, I need. I want to be able. My next thing will be I want to be able to get my automatic updates turned back on in Fedora 28 here without updating this though until they get the bug out of OBS Studio in that version 22. That's what I figured out that it was a problem. It just so happened I was changing a lot of things in my scenes and I thought I had broke something. So it took me a couple of weeks or more to figure it all out. Well, I mean, I went back and forth on trying to figure it out, but I spent three days or more the first time and then this time it's been a week or more. It took me about a week to figure it out. Well, you know, I didn't work on it every day. But um, anyway... Um, Okay, so that's where I am now. And see, I changed my file name formats from just numbers only, and I didn't never did like having the year, you know, in front. It, I just can't read it that way. I want month, day, year. Usually, I when I'm doing stuff, I don't bother to put the, you know, the full year 2019. I'll put 020419. And uh, I may still do that because... That right away shows me that's the date, and then the four-digit number is uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. So I may do that. I oh, have to do it right this minute. Well, the one I think of things is when I have to do them, though, or else I'll forget. <coughs> oh, let's go ahead and go over to my YouTube page while well, I'm still making a stream here. And, uh, oh, I forgot. Um, I went ahead and turned on, okay, so I have camera one, I'm wait, I'll wave here to see how it's fed behind, got camera two, I want to make sure everything works, so camera two is working, it's a bit behind right now too, well I've got so much going on, I'm not surprised, oh, it's way behind, okay, um, let's see what my system resources, ooh, OBS is really working hard, I'm going to have to probably should turn off camera too. It wasn't doing so much. Well, now it went back down to about what it's been doing. And plus I'm running, running simple stream recorder because I want to get every, all my setting changes and all that while OBS is not running. But I can't just keep pushing the machine either. And there's cameras one and two. And, uh, yeah, they're getting a bit behind. And camera one, when I was running it all by itself, wasn't so bad. So that's the best thing I could do. So I guess I'll shut down this stream here in a second, and then uh, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and shut it down after I go through all this, and, and then uh, then I'll do the. Uh, I think I'll close the browser. And get the, that's just more for the machine to do. Machine, this quad core with four gig RAM can't do everything under the sun. Okay, and that was one in uh, desktop. Here's two in desktop. Tablet I don't have plugged in. <coughs> Uh, the endoscope I do, it, it's not frozen or anything. I, you have to put something under it that moves to know whether or not it's frozen. <laughs> but that's my battery out of Cam 3 that was all swelled up, and it's been setting out of the phone. You know, I think it, no, it's still swelled up enough you can see it. It was probably a bit bigger than that, but I decided it was too dangerous to use. And in case it had decided to spontaneously combust or something while I was asleep, I put it in a whole coffee can, uh, something that wouldn't burn. Of course, still, if it really did that, it would, well, I figured it'd wake me up. <laughs> I, I have it in here because I thought if I put it in the garage, it might burn the house down before anybody knew it was happening. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I don't think it would, but I'm not, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I put it in something that's not, you know, not flammable. And uh, I don't think I'll be using it. I think I will test the voltage on it. But I did look it up um, and looked, and I found out what the pins are on the battery and stuff. I actually was looking up how to run the phones without. Uh, that's that's me and the Cam One and the uh, USB Cam Two and the USB. So I um, um, figured, found out the pin out on the you know, on the battery or the pin in on the phone, whichever way you want to look at it, so they, and uh, what it would take to run the phone off of, you know, just the adapter, the USB adapter. And you can do it, but, you know, then it's stuck to a wire, so. Uh, 
not a lot of scenarios where I wouldn't want, would want it to, you know, I'd really rather have a battery, but the battery, I paid $15 for the phones and the cheapest battery I saw was about $16. So and they're about three or four years old now. Well, I've had them for three years or four years and they were, you know, two, two years old models. I think when I got them, that's why I got them so cheap. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I will, um, Go ahead and shut down this stream and uh, turn off the uh, unplug the endoscope. That really works the machine. The USB, any USB cameras works the machine. That's one thing I realize now. You know, I don't like what the problem I'm having right now. You know, the uh, audio and video, the lag, the uh, latency, the, and, and the Wi-Fi just the conditions change constantly. So sometimes it works okay, sometimes it's terrible. But I wouldn't be able to do more than one camera. Uh, I've already known that for years. I can't do two USB cameras at once. So I, you know, I couldn't, my endoscope's USB, that's the only way it works. But so USB, and I don't have a new, I have two old, old USB cameras, webcams. But so these phones, using the phones over the Wi Fi, uh, it's actually the best way to be able to do it with the machine, the machine I got, you know. So anyway, uh, the battery went bad. So I was doing my uh, lapel mics on that, that phone three. And so, um, can't do that now, so I'm, I've got the lapel plug straight into the computer, and that way, if I want to, I'm wired, you know, and can't just go anywhere, but I can go about 15. I can go anywhere in this room, fit about 15 feet away from the uh, computer. Oh, now my stream is red, gone bad. It still works, but it could quit. It could just stop. So I'm going to go ahead and get out before anything gets any worse. Um, probably just because the machine can't keep up. All right. Uh, but I'm still recording on the simple stream recorder. Okay, so there's the end of that. I always started to close OBS, but uh, you, you want to wait and make sure it's done finishing up that file before you do that. And even though you may you don't see the file growing, well, it takes a bit to grow, you know, to change anyway. So I always give it a few minutes. Usually I give it 10 to 20 minutes, but it, I think a minute, five minutes is probably plenty. But... Um, But I'm going to go ahead and unplug my USB camera so that it won't be working the machine. I think I'm going to. I've been working it pretty hard streaming with both OBS and Simple Stream Recorder, so I think I'm going to have to reboot the, the machine now that I've got it, you know, acting up, slowing down. So. Um, what went wrong let's see oh probably because I unplug the I guess I'll know unless I do that <clears throat> it's probably because I unplug the uh, kernel that's unusual Is my recording still working yeah it's still working let's go ahead and close OBS I think that's long enough on that let's see I can can't actually kernel problem occurred, but your kernel has been, but your kernel has been tainted. Hmm. Taint on warning out of free module has been loaded. Out of tree module has been loaded using module has been loaded. unsigned module. Kernel maintainers are unable to diagnose tainted reports. Okay, so I couldn't report it anyway. Though I can't. Every time I try to send a report in. Uh, I mean, it's never, you know, I've seen that before in some of these other reports, and it said my kernel was not tainted. So look at the details and see if it says anything. Not reportable warning. Backtrace. Swap. I don't know.
Huh. I believe it said it wasn't tainted the last time I looked at a report like this, an error report. Um, <clears throat> there are some, that stuff about swap, and there are some things that are going funky during the update, uh, during the boot up. And uh, it says they're trying to uh, mount swap and all this this is right there in that section right there i think this is this part right here is what you see and it hangs for a while and it finally goes ahead and boots dev mapper you know swap dev mapper fedora low by five root on this kernel here, 419.16. Yeah. Um, what's kind of make, making me wonder, though, is why it says it looks like the same image, same uh, error again. I think these are all boot, boot logs is what it is, I think, what I'm looking at. E-message. Kernels, you know, uh, kind of explain, I think I kind of read out. I, I don't have a vague, I guess a vague idea of what tainted kernel. I used to know a little more about it, but I forget things. But booting error virtualized kernel on bare hardware. Huh. I installed a bunch of stuff in the group installs. I was doing really good. I, I was careful, but didn't do too much. You know, if I didn't know what it was, I didn't do it. And then I went and did some things I wanted. I thought that, that was interesting. Found some more stuff in the group command, group list command. I installed them, and then it started doing that. And it's been running fine, but it does. It takes forever to boot, and it hangs up for like up to a minute before it finishes booting. And one of them is I tried to install something to do with VirtualBox. Uh, that's not some kernel modules that's not uh, unable to load it says that's the first thing but it just goes right on by that and I've seen I've had those kind of problems on and off for different versions of Fedora for years and years without any problem it's just kind of a pain to I mean, if it's if it makes it wait you know it's a pain but uh, it wasn't running so good until I kept installing groups that I thought, oh, I want to try this out. I want to try that out. So I'm just kind of scanning these while I'm talking. But uh, I can't read all that. So I'm just kind of like I, the best way I can uh, describe it. Uh, lately, I started realizing it's like like looking at a picture. You know, if you see something that catches your attention, maybe you'll find something. But oh, my mouse! I was like Microsoft. Is that for instance? See. Uh, that caught my eye. That's my mouse and my keyboard. Well, my mouse, my, my mouse is a Microsoft. My keyboard is IBM. Sometimes you'll see uh, USB. Um, it's got two USB ports on it. So I think I just saw. Them. New new S oh new USB device found. Now that might have been the camera. No, that's the keyboard. That's it. What I was talking about. The multimedia keyboard. HP USB. Three ports. It only has two. Hmm. And then there's SDA one, SDA, SD one, SDA two. Anyway, I should probably, I would just upgrade this system to Fedora 29, but then I'm afraid OBS won't work because people, I didn't find, when I was looking for help on my problem, you know, with OBS crashing, I found somebody in Fedora 29 with the problem. 
and everybody on uh, anywhere you look the only thing they have to say about it is that they think it's a driver issue video driver issue and they say mostly nvidia in windows and they say you know tell you all this advice about installing the right driver and all that stuff well of course i'm on fedora and uh, everything was perfect until one day so i didn't figure it was that anyway uh, and it turns out it was there's, there's a I mean maybe it is a, a video driver issue but it happened because of the changes in the new version of OBS but this just now happened it's the first time uh, that I've noticed it now this first time I've noticed it but I just saw there may be a, dupl a previous uh, error I'm going to look and see if it's the same thing here in a second a lot of this is repeats. Warning. Hmm. This module's linked in. It's a lot of stuff. I can't tell that that says warning, but I think that's only. I don't know if those go together or not. That's what I'm not sure about. So, uh, or if that's just the only warning. I don't. I don't know enough about all these things. These, you know, log. How the, how to read these log errors and stuff. <clears throat> Sometimes I find something that helps me sometimes I don't but yeah see here's another one another system error and I'm thinking it might be the same thing yep nine minutes ago kernel core that's one to ease that can be a real problem I don't know why it just all of a sudden started happening nine minutes ago nine minutes ago well, it looks like it's the same error we've shown twice and then see Kaja the uh, file manager things like that happen pretty often uh, countered a problem and could not continue troubleshoot quit unexpectedly that's this app here uh, I think it quit I think I'm kind of remember it quit when I was just trying to close it because I couldn't uh, I knew I couldn't send it because I can't log into the ABRT from here with this thing for some reason but the last time I tried to log in I still haven't done it again because I just keep forgetting really I haven't gone to the website and tried to log in and make sure my password still works and everything but uh, yeah OBS quit unexpectedly that uh, that's 2.1.1 oh yeah when I first see what did it oh when I that's when I first installed regressed back to 2.1.1 21.1.1 the uh, uh, DNF automatically installed the version 22 libs, lib whatever I forgot what it's called now, and so I had to go. Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't see it when I was installing it. Uh, didn't notice it, so then I had to uninstall it again, go and reinstall it, and make manually check that lib. What you normally can do is just install OBS Studio, and then it'll it'll do all the dependencies automatically. But I, that's what I did. But then that caused it. What it did is it crashed when you opened it up because <laughs> it had the version 22 libs along with the version 21 application so you have to manually check OBS studio version 21 and then the libs version 21 and then it works and it streams and it records and Firefox you see it quit uh, for whatever reason that is the thing that I've been having come up regularly is this I installed that was one of the things I was talking about I installed a, some groups and I thought well that looks cool Raw log viewer. Well, it can't run and it keeps being stopped. It keeps being stopped by SE Linux, and sometimes you get a crash report on it too. Okay, Sysguard. Uh, just you know, some of those are just things that happen sometimes, you know. Um, but the ones that uh, you might have to stand up and pay attention to are kernel crashes. Sometimes it'll just happen and then it'll be fine after a reboot and it. Um, let's see, yeah, I'm still recording, right? Okay.
Could have been because I was running OBS and, uh, but this hasn't happened before though. But I've been running, I've been recording with OBS and uh, Simple Stream Recorder at the same time for ever since the last several days. Here's about a week now, I guess, I'm, since I discovered Simple Stream Recorder. I think that just got bigger. I was just looking at it to see. That's the only way you really got to know. I mean, you can see it's just because that red light's on, that doesn't mean that the program hasn't frozen and the red light's still on. So I don't like just jabbering along when I'm. <laughs> Not actually recording. Well, you can see, oh, the only way. I always forget that you can actually, in this program, you can look and see its activity right there. That's how you know for sure it's working, dummy. I'm used to doing that with OBS because that's the only way I, I know of to know for sure. OBS doesn't have a readout like that. Well, it does down in the, you know what it does down in the bottom right of the screen. I guess I could be using that. I just, well, here's the thing. You can be streaming in OBS and uh, that will not quit, but the recording sometimes will just fail and quit. And then I don't have my backup files. So that's what's got me in the habit of looking at my actual file. And as long as the file's growing, I'm good. But um, now I'm going to, I want to reboot for sure. And I'm going to turn off, well, actually, I think I'll reboot everything. I've been streaming for quite a while now. Uh, phones, routers, modems, everything. Uh, I'm going to just turn off phone too unless I'm actually going to use it. So, um, yeah, simple stream recorder by itself to, uh, does it okay, not too bad. Uh, as, re you know, streaming apps do, I mean, that, that's definitely not a normal, any other normal app doesn't generally get up that high on using four cores that much, you know. Of course, I was using them, I was using uh, OBS and simple stream recorder, and OBS was running around 35 to 38, 35 to 40. Uh, streaming and recording at the same time. Generally, OBS stays more like 25, uh, 3 to 28 or something like that. It did. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it's, well, I raised the bit rates and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I want to go back and change. First, I'm going to have to reboot and everything. Okay. So, let's go ahead and stop this. And, uh, yep, still got signal. Go ahead and stop this video and then reboot everything and then I'll try to get OBS tweaked out a little better. Hopefully I won't have any more problems with the uh, kernel or anything. All right. A real kernel crash will sometimes crash your system, you know. Usually it just causes a problem and some things don't work, but that's why I was looking around to see if everything was still working. Okay. But anyway, I'll reboot and see how everything goes.